Yo, what is going on YouTube? Are you winning boys? I hope you're winning because on this channel it's all about winning. My name is Bart or Burn to Win and today we are going to be starting a new Let's Play on this channel. We are going to start Demon Souls, one of the PS5 starting titles and I don't think I need to introduce this game to anyone. It's a game that started this subgenre of Souls-like games. Uh, quite a challenging experience all in all and a very good game i've had it on the ps3 and i bet it back then and i have to say it is perhaps my favorite game on the playstation 3 so i am extremely extremely happy to be playing this on the ps5 in its absolutely remade version with stunning graphics and i am hugely hugely excited to be playing this so um, we'll see how we go guys, I, I'm i not the greatest at these Souls games, um, I've only played I think Dark Souls 1, 2 and Demon's Souls, I haven't played any of the other ones, haven't played Bloodborne yet, so we'll see how we go, uh, but, but I'm hopeful that we'll get through this game without too much trouble, so here we have the opening cutscene, Demon's Souls. Let's start a new adventure. Okay, let's check the visual mode. I think we'll go for performance here because we want 60 frames per second, of course. And I think all the rest is okay. Okay, so let's uh, jump right into it, guys. Let's go and start this Demon Souls. Okay, looks like we get to choose between a man and a woman. So let's go for a man. And we can enter our name. So let's go for our YouTube name. Uh huh. So. A first important choice, our class. Hmm. Do we go for a magician, more of a soldier? Hmm. More of a thief, kind of a dexterity build. Hmm. I think I would like to go for a character that does have some magic skills but at the same time is not completely useless at hand-to-hand -hand combat hmm I think this one is quite interesting quite a lot of intelligence not so much vitality but it's okay we can't be taking too many hits in this game anyway Endurance, strength, yeah, let's go for royalty. A person of royal descent who has officially learned spells, commands the spell soul arrow with the benefits of a rare ring. Okay, let's go for it. And then the starting gift, none. Um, a stone that radiates a guiding light. No, we don't need that. Recover some of users HP over time. Grass jelly could be useful, but let's check the other ones. Elixir temporarily increases the rate of stamina recovery. Bright water recovers some of the user's MP over time. Providential ring raises item discovery. Hmm. That could be interesting. Usually those rings or those uh, kind of um, skills that help you earn more experience points or, uh, or uh, helps you find more ammo in shooter games or whatever it is. It's good to take them on straight away so that you can get as much use from them as you can. Fire arrow. Soul remains. Oil cask. No, I think we'll go for the ring here. Yeah, let's go for that, guys. And saved creations. Uh huh. We are not done yet, so maybe let's not save it just yet. Okay, so a man, as we said. The animation. Yeah, this one is fine. And the voice. 
What is this? A female voice? Okay, I get you. Okay, let's go for this one. Doesn't matter too much. And then the appearance. Hmm. Okay, skin. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go with this one. Tint. Oh, we can actually go <laughs> like a full on green. <laughs> oh man, it looks sick. Yeah, okay there. Okay, I think that looks quite natural. Saturation. Whoa. And let's go. <laughs> All right. Whoa. No, 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 no. Let's uh, let's perhaps go with that. And brightness. Okay, cool. So that's it for skin. Age. Let's go. I don't know. Twenty-five. Wait. <laughs> oh, someone had, someone had too many donuts. Uh. Can I, can I unzoom? Um, not too much. Okay, let's go 50, we're kind of average. So then, face. Uh, um. Yeah, this one is fine. Width. Yeah. I'm not gonna spend a huge amount of time on that, guys. We won't be seeing our character too much anyway. Okay, brow. Oh, there's more. Okay, these ones. Color. Hmm. Okay, for the color, um, let me see. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Average. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Height. Let's not go too high or we'll look surprised all the time. Okay. Yeah, these ones are fine. These ones, color. Is this eye color now, yeah? Or purple. Yeah, why not? Let's, uh, let's look fancy. Secondary eye color. That's what of the... Okay, okay, I got you. So let's go, let's go purple and blue, why not? Look at those eyes! <laughs> Glow. Okay, with those demonic eyes. No, okay, let's go here, then height. Yeah, I think that's fine, and depth. That's okay as well. No, ears. They all stick out a lot, but these ones are probably the best. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Then nose. This one. Mouth. This one is fine. Teeth. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I mean, we're there to fight demons, not to brush our teeth. We don't have time for that. <laughs> oh, we have to go for that. <laughs> uh, the nearly toothless Bart. Cleft chin. Okay, no, I don't want an asshole. Ass on my chin. 
and we looked like we were stung by a bee. No, height. Cheekbones. No, that's fine. And hair. Whoa, <laughs> so emo. <laughs> and we look like an auntie here. You look quite feminine, I have to say. Hmm. Ah, yeah, let's go for this. Why not? Hmm. What are we going for here? Very light blue, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Facial hair. And color. Whoops. Facial hair. Color. And then maybe once again, very light blue. Hmm. Yeah, that was fine. Decals. Oh, these are cool guys. Yeah, let's go for this one. Okay, so let's save it and then finalize. King okay, Ayat let's go for it. Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. The awe of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbane. Skurva the Wanderer. The sick Saint Astria with her night girl Vinland. And Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But 
Oletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you to the fissure. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. There we are guys, Outpost Passage. We are the Slayer of Demons. Many before us have failed. Let's see if we can rid the land of all the mysterious fog and save humanity. The game looks absolutely incredible guys. R1 standard attack. I expected nothing less of the Zemon souls. I avoided as much information as possible about it, but the pieces of information that I got from other people or from uh, gaming channels was that the game looks amazing and it truly, truly does. Okay, so we have the first enemy here. We attack with R1. <coughs> I don't think this guy is even in interested in attacking us, to be honest. Okay, direction and hold. We can sprint. Okay. And L1, we can use our shield. souls already this is kind of the experience points of this game that you get from uh, killing the enemies and then you can use it to pay for some upgrades as I told you guys I have played the game already on the PS3 but please don't expect much from me as you can see <laughs> I'm not great okay these two guys are down Nothing more here, and here we see phantoms of of online <coughs> players, I believe. This game has re a really cool online mode. It's kind of implemented into the campaign where you can leave messages. Of course, you can you can disable that and play offline, but you can leave messages and read other um, other players' messages. Um, while you play the campaign, they just appear similarly to this uh, to this note. For example, they appear on the ground, and you can read them. And of course, um, this started a huge wave of trolling in the community, as people were like, "Treasure ahead!" And ahead, you would find a boss that you were in nowhere near uh, prepared for at the time, or you would find a, a hole where you fall and just die. So it's you know you know what to expect from from the gaming community guys if you give them power like this to uh, leave messages for other players to read it's never gonna be used as the developers intended okay we get a crescent moon grass I think these um, items are used to actually heal okay I think we have to go here but they are very interesting idea for kind of implementing the online part of the game into the campaign and there's another guy okay. let's try to bust up no we can't okay no problem so these guys oh shit I actually jumped up on my chair 
Oh, and we use some magic. Oh no, oh no. Oh, okay. As I jumped <laughs> from the jump scare, I changed my sword sword to a, to a magical staff, so that's why I started casting those spells. Okay. Ooh, but that guy scared me. Jesus Christ. He came out of nowhere. I should watch my back more. Okay, and two more Crescent Moon Breasts. Okay, here we have an Archstone. Let's touch it. And see where it takes us. Forlorn Outpost. Okay. R2, we have a strong attack. And here we have a stronger enemy, what it looks like. He has no shield, so that shouldn't be a problem. Indeed, he's gone. And we have 10 more souls in our collection. Oh, and actually, once you die, guys, you lose all your souls and you will leave like a... Of course, I don't think I have to explain it. I mean, those games have been out on the market for years and years, but those who don't who don't know it, you leave a mark on the floor with all your XP and you have to come back to the same place where you died and pick your souls or experience points back up. And if you die on the way, that's it. Those experience points are now gone. One of the worst things that can happen to you in Demon Souls or one of those Souls games is to carry oh, is to carry a lot of XP and to die and then die on the way to pick it up oh, no yes. as we backstab this guy so that he doesn't cause us too much trouble. And then another message. Wield weapon with both hands or release. No, I think I prefer my shield. Okay, you don't want to come to me? I'll just hit you with an arrow. Why not? You wanna come over? Come on. Okay, that didn't do them do much of course because he blocked it with his shield. Come on. Okay. It's only blocking. Oh god. On, I can. There we go. I was waiting for him to attack this whole time, and all he did was to block my attacks. But we finally got rid of him, so let's continue. Switch right hand weapon, left hand weapon. Okay. I think we're okay for the moment, and let's loot this guy. A half moon grass. Okay, with Catalyst equipped, R1, use magic. Okay, and using the top arrow, we can switch our spells. Cool. No! It's probably one of the easiest builds to start off with uh, a magician, as you can just hit everyone from distance and not take too much damage. Okay, let's see if we get any more of these armored guys here. No, nothing for the moment. Oh, this is like... Okay, he's down. heal because we lost quite a bit of health 
on the way. That's easy. And let's loot this guy. Crescent Moon Grass. And is there anything here? No. Really? All that for nothing. I mean all that. I just jumped. <laughs> that was it. Okay, let's continue through the fog then. Yeah, but sometimes you do have those secrets. You just go off the the your actual path and you roll over some ledge or something and you find a ring or something of interest. Not this time apparently. <laughs> Couldn't ba backstab him, unfortunately. Okay, nice. This guy is down. Which way do we have to go? I have a feeling that this is gonna close. No, no. It's just this body here. Cool. So we can come back. Two, m two more healing items. So that's always good to see. And let's go up the stairs and see what's on the other side of the fog. And it's a boss! And we nearly died. And we died. <laughs> so guys, it's maybe not impossible to beat this first boss. But it's entirely um, kind of calculated by the game that you might die here. You're Soul likely to die here. Lost, and the game vessel. continues. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. And we appear in the Nexus in our soul's form. We're not human anymore, we're just a soul. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Volataria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus. But the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. The Nexus. You have died and the Nexus has imprisoned your soul. You cannot ex escape the Nexus. Guys, we cannot escape. We are stuck here forever. And as you can see, our health in the left, uh, top left corner is limited to half the health bar. Because we are in the soul's form, as I said. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your corporeal body. So every time we defeat a boss, we actually get to uh, come back to our human form and uh, not be limited to half our health. So do not fear death. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a thumbs up for that. Okay. So here is what I was talking about guys, um, the other part of the online um, kind of portion of this game is that there are these bloodstains on the floor wherever uh, someone died online and you can touch the bloodstain and it kind of plays back the scene of their death. So it's quite useful honestly if, you're, if it's your first time playing the game because you can touch a bloodstain and then find out that, I don't know, there is an enemy in front of you or there is something, some danger ahead of you. I am cute. Nah, you're not. Um, that there is some danger in front of you and that you... Uh, and that you should be wary of anything in front of you. So it looks like people leave a lot of messages here. No, it's not actually messages from the people. These are from actual messages that help you from the developers. Mm -hmm. If you use a weapon of both hands, you can easily break an enemy's guard. To use magic and miracles, you must first learn them. 
learned magic and miracles cannot be used unless you memorize them okay by memorizing it i mean equipping them i believe there is a limit to the number of magic and miracles that can be memorized exactly you must equip a catalyst to use magic uh-huh you must equip a talisman to use miracles you'll find a sign pass here okay that's very useful you'll find a sign pass here useful pay attention to the tendency of the world's souls as the tendency approaches black demons will pose more of a threat as the tendency approaches white the strength of demons diminishes yeah that's another thing guys whenever we die in human form in a world uh, the tendency of the world um, declines and it moves further into black which means that the demons will be more powerful and more enemies will appear and all that and as we go slaying demons we will uh, move the tendency more into white and and this means that the demons will be kind of less powerful and it's going to be a bit perhaps easier and it will also trigger different events depending what tendency we are in you could maybe find uh, an npc or a, an item in a white tendency that might not be otherwise found in a black tendency so it's it's quite interesting in this in this regard this demon souls if you touch another warrior's blood stain, you can view the manner in which they died so this is what i was talking to you about if you touch your own bloodstain, you can regain the souls you lost upon death. So I've already told you as well. When you die, a bloodstain will... Yeah, so you know that. Pale Shades are warriors of other worlds facing the same challenges. So the other part of the online um, service here is that you can join other people's uh, worlds and you can help them defeat the bosses or you can be an asshole and uh, just kill the player. It all depends on you. And then it also happens that other players can invade your world if you're... Um, online is uh, online play is enabled the blacksmith can repair weapons that have become worn when a weapon's durability is low its attack power decreases when in soul form your hp is halved as we said upon a successful power you have the chance to repost beware of beginners ahead <laughs> okay i mean we know a lot about this game but we are somewhat of a beginner ourselves Okay, let's see how this person died. Uh, pff, not exactly sure what killed him, but what it's are fine. You doing? No. Even I will not just. I didn't. Sit I didn't mean to. I am sorry. I am so sorry. Well, you slipped through the fish. Oh, thank God! I thought you. he's gonna become uh, hostile towards us. Demon souls. Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Voluntaria. Exactly, we came here to slay demons. Mm. You knew here. Are you here for my services? Yep, but perhaps a bit later. And Baldwin, what what do you sell exactly? Do you sell stuff or you're mm. a you knew here? Are Smith. You here for my services? No? The name's Baldwin. Yeah, you're but a blacksmith. It's an ordinary blacksmith. It's cool. simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. With your souls. I can eke out a living, and with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? Not at all, Baldwin, not at all. And this is... Who are you? You're not gonna introduce yourself? You can't. Oh boy, okay. how has this happened? What? Has God abandoned us for King Alat, failing to show proper respect? Oh, Mbasa. Okay, you're not that interesting. So this is kind of our headquarters, as we can say. Here you can see the one, two, three, uh, four, five arch stones, uh, or six. I think there's six of them. Yep, and this one. Oh no, there's five, five, actually five of them. Um, so we have five arch stones and they represent the different worlds that we can travel to and slay demons. So it's like a different worlds, we can say. 
Um, so yeah, we are in Souls form. This is the way we'll be playing uh, the game because we don't want um, our tendency to go down uh, by dying in human form in each of the worlds. So uh, yeah, we are all ready to go. I don't think we can spend the 195 souls on anything at the moment. So yeah, we'll just end the episode here and in the next episode we'll actually start the first level of the game which will be um if i'm not mistaken palace of boletaria or something like that i don't quite rem remember so we'll see that in the next episode guys i know we haven't done much this episode we created our character and we played through the tutorial and epically failed with the first boss so uh this adventure will continue in the next episode of demon souls i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next episode tomorrow